In this tutorial, we will talk about the Ubuntu Linux distribution itself, its history, where it comes from, who's behind it, and what it's trying to accomplish. Now, as you can see here on your screen, this is the Ubuntu Linux homepage, ubuntu.com. Ubuntu Linux, as they say here, is Linux for human beings. The general idea behind Ubuntu Linux is to make a Linux-based operating system that is very user-friendly and is available to the entire community. It has some related projects, some other variations of Ubuntu Linux that we will discuss at a later time, but this page describes some of the background and some of the history of Ubuntu Linux. The most important history of Ubuntu Linux is this website, this distribution called Debian. Now, this is a Linux distribution that has been around a very long time. It is a worldwide, community-driven, free Linux distribution. Debian is the basis of Ubuntu Linux. It's a child of Debian, if you will. There are many distributions based on Debian. Debian is very popular. It has a lot of very positive things about it, a lot of advantages to it, and it's not uncommon for other distributions to come along and take Debian, make certain changes to create a new distribution. The GPL and the ideas behind free software allow this and, in fact, encourage it. And Ubuntu Linux is just one of these distributions based on Debian. Now, there is another party behind Ubuntu Linux, and that is a company called Canonical. Canonical is a company started by a gentleman named Mark Shuttleworth, who has also founded and funded Ubuntu Linux. Canonical is a company that provides Linux and Ubuntu services and other products that help fund the free community Ubuntu Linux distribution. Now, the Ubuntu homepage describes some of the history and some of the philosophy behind Ubuntu. The main philosophy behind Ubuntu is to create a Linux distribution that is very friendly, very community-oriented, has regular releases. It is not uncommon for Linux distributions to release a new version every few months and to provide, ultimately, long-term security updates and support. Ubuntu Linux is available absolutely free of charge. It is a live CD that can be installed if desired, and it's fast and easy to use. Ubuntu Linux also provides many avenues and places for help, which will be discussed in another tutorial. I encourage you to go to the Ubuntu homepage and to read about it, to read about some of the ideas and people behind Ubuntu Linux and become familiar with it. As you can see, it's a very friendly homepage. Ubuntu Linux is a very popular Linux distribution. And in fact, in, in some view, it is the most popular, the most used Linux distribution that is available. And that's why we're going to be talking about it throughout this course. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.